Sri Lanka's economy has changed dramatically, and so have employment opportunities. 25 years ago, agriculture was the main occupation. Today, growing numbers of Sri Lankans are moving from the field to factories, often to work in the country's booming garment industry. Garment factories are often housed within export processing zones, designated areas to promote investment in the country. Each factory can provide regular employment for thousands of people, and each worker helps to produce garments that are exported to markets across the world. Work in the garment industry is hard and workers often put in long hours to make ends meet. Some factories are unionized and workers are better able to voice their demands. Workers from a number of factories are asking for an extra 2,500 rupees or 25 pounds a month, which would allow them to reduce their overtime and provide for their families. Then cutting them badu mil badu boarding piece then nona current bill then nona apida endu mak gan nona eto kora then apida ena salary ka apu wedi kara ganne all time ka kala all time na tang me apida padiya kne ema dama varada giyu tama pemini me dima na den ewa en tama apida padiya poda wedi kara ganne na tang apida da 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 apida padiya tiyenne kala den badu ye dang utekka gedara ta den nona endu mak ehema ganna beri wenu awastha tiyenawa i think ara 2500 ak api illa tiyenawa e 2500 ape salary gata poddak hari wedi kara ganna puluwan da kiyala den api illa tiyenawa eka labuna thondai kiyala thama bala poruttu nae dei kiya ade sekenda da da ak pai wetu pedi mak kiyala tiyenawa Workers like Jivani have made progress in providing a better life for themselves, and regular employment has brought them many benefits. Being able to voice demands is important for workers to improve their working conditions and continue to enhance their quality of life.